Good morning. It's Dr. Bob here, and I uh, am pleased to share one of my favorite poems with you. <clears throat> the name of this is Family. It was written by Josephine Miles. And the reason I chose this was that so much of our personal life is tied in with family, but also our professional life. And so much of what I do is based upon family values and thoughts that we uh, have come to mind. So let me share this with you, if I may. When you swim in the surf off seal rocks and your family sits in the sand eating potato salad and the undertow comes which you are out way down a way to lose your breath, the loss of play and the power of play, howlers say, help, help, help. Hello, they will say, come back here for some potato salad. It's then that a 17-year-old cub cruising in a helicopter from Antigua, a jack straw expert speaking only Swedish and remote from this area as a camel, says, look down there, there's someone drowning and it's you. You say, yes, yes, and he throws you a line. This is what is called the Brotherhood of Man. This was written in 1983 something that I think has a lot of meaning for all of us. And I am so pleased to have been able to share this with you this morning. Hello, Trumbull. Hi, my name is Tony, and i um, here to read a poem by Rudyard Kipling. Um, the title of it is If, and it's something that uh, my dad had shared with me and reminded me that these are the values that I should hold on to and pass on to my children. And uh, it starts that, if you can keep your head, when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowances for their doubting too, if you can wait and not be tired by waiting, or be lied about, don't deal in lies, or being hated, don't give way to hating, and yet don't look too good, nor talk too wise, if you can dream and not make dreams your master, and if you can think and not make thoughts your aim, and if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those impostors just the same, and if you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken, twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools, or watch the things you gave your life to broken and stoop and build them up with worn out tools, if you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it on one turn of a pitch and toss, and never breathe a word about your loss. And if you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are gone, and so hold on when there is nothing in you except the will which says to them, hold on. And if you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings nor lose the common touch, if neither foes or loving friends can hurt you, and if all men count with you, but none too much, and if you can fill the unforgiving minutes with 60 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that is in it, and which is more than you will be a man or a woman, my children. <laughs> Thank you.